Saul Lopez spent three months on a dangerous journey getting from his native Venezuela to the United States. He shows me a video he took on his cell phone while riding on the top of a train in Mexico heading north. He almost fell off, but he took the risk to get to America to earn money for his family back home, his mom and dad and three-year-old son. I want to be able to move forward in life and be able to help my family back in Venezuela. It's very bad there. Lopez arrived in New York three days ago. He is one of thousands of migrants who have been bused to the city from Texas with promises of work and shelter. But for these men, there are neither. A hotel that closed during the pandemic has been converted into the main processing center for newly arrived migrants. But it's full, all 1,000 rooms taken by women and children. So the men can only sit outside and wait, hoping a spot opens up. Police have put up barricades, keeping the migrants on the sidewalk. There's not even a toilet. Many of these migrants are also from Africa. Many are from Angola, Chad, uh, Senegal, and Sudan. They're here with anything that they have, all their belongings, after their long journey to get here to New York. Many of them tell us that they weren't expecting the conditions to be like this. Many of the people here are scared of talking because they just don't know what to expect next. New York City's migrant shelter system isn't working. The city's mayor, Eric Adams, has admitted as much. We need help, and it's, it's not going to get any better. Uh, from, from this moment on, on it's downhill. Uh, there is no more room. As for Saul, this is not the so-called American dream he was expecting. No, I didn't expect it to be like this. I came for an opportunity in life, and all I want is to work and have a place to sleep at night. He went back to the sidewalk behind the barricades, propping himself up on a trash can. This will be where he, and many other like him, rest for yet another night. Victims of a broken immigration system. Gabriel Osando, Al Jazeera, New York.